So far, we saw how we can take user permission, how we can read audio file from the device. We saw how we can play, pause and resume those audio files. Also, we saw how we can select another audio if we tap on different audio. Now we added almost everything that we want inside this audio list file. The only thing that we want to add now is we want to add the functionality whenever we tap on this play option, we want to play this audio. Also, we want to add some kind of functionality to add this audio to the playlist and we are going to do that in the upcoming videos. Now in this video, what I want to do, I want to create the actual player UI inside this player tab. So without any further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I'm already inside this player file. You can find it inside this screens folder. Now let's remove everything from this written statement and I want to render everything inside a screen component that we made in the previous videos. So let's go to this player screen. We need to import it from our components folder. You can see. And now here is the small tips. If your auto import doesn't work, then you can simply press control plus space and then you can choose from these options. Okay. Now inside this screen, let's render this view. This view will be the actual container where we are going to render our all of the components related to this player. So let's add this styles dot container. Now from this style, we don't want the align items and justify content. So let's remove them. I just want to add this flex of one. Okay. Now inside this container at first, at the top, I want to render the actual audio count. For that, we can use this text component. Let's add some style to it. Style will be styles.audio count. For now, let's just use some random value 99. Let's see how this looks. If we tap on this player and you can see this tiny 99. Let's add some style to this audio count. Let's add this text align property to right. You can see the change. Also, let's add this padding of 15. Let's change its color a bit. For that, we need to import this color dot font. Let's use this font light. Let's see. We don't need this color from this React Native Reanimated. Let's remove this and let's import our color from the MISC folder. This is we need to import it from this MISC slash color. Now we can use our font light. Okay, this looks perfectly fine. Also, let's change its font size to 14. Okay, also let's make it more realistic for that. We can add this one out of 99. Okay, let's save this file and you can see guys, this is how it looks. Now inside this container, after this text, I want to add some kind of image or icon. Let's add this view component for that. Now inside this view, I want to render this icon music circle from this material community icons so let's copy this import statement paste it below this color import now we can copy this component itself and render it inside this view component for now let's add some style to this view container style will be styles dot let's add this mid banner container and for now let's leave it like this we will come to it later now after this i want to add the actual player and the actual controllers so let's for that let's add another view below this view component also let's add this style object for this view component that will be a style a styles dot audio player 
container. Now inside this container, at the top, I want to render the audio file name. Let's use some random name for now. Audio file name. Let's save this file and let's see how it looks. And you can see this is how it looks. Now let's change some style first to this meet banner container. We can go to this style object. Let's create this style object. Let's add this flex property to one. And let's add this justify content to center and align items to center as well let's save this file and you can see this is how it looks now we can change the size of this icon let's use size of 300 and you can see guys this is how it looks and also i want to change its color as well but we are going to do that according to the playing state of our audio files if we are in playing state then i want to render different color if we are in the pause state then i want to render different color but for now let's just use this color dot active bg or yes active bg and this is how it looks now let's add some style to these component as well we can add this style object to this text component style styles dot audio title let's go to this style object and let's create this audio title here let's change its font size to 16 and let's change its color as well color dot font and also let's add the padding of 15 and also i want to render this title in a single line so for that we can use this number of lines prop and let's add this one to it now below this title i want to add a seek bar of our audio player for that i'm going to use this react native slider by react natives community now we need to install this for that we can copy this npm install at react native community slash slider let's open our terminal for now let's kill the server and install this react native slider we will see it how we can use it later for now let's just render our slider inside our project for that let's copy this paste it below this text component let's import this slider you can see for now let's save this file and let's see how it looks and you can see this tiny slider here let's change its width for that we can import this dimensions from this react native to get the actual width extract its width dimensions dot get window now we can use this width here let's remove this 200 save this file and you can see the change also let's change its minimum track tint color for this i'm going to use this color dot font medium and for this maximum track tint color i'm going to use this color dot active vg let's save this file and you can see the change guys now below this slider i want to render the actual audio controller like play pause icon and that previous and next icon and i think that topic deserves its own video so that's why i will show you guys how you can add that controller in the next video so as always i hope you like this video and learn something new if this is the case then don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video